Okay. Oh, I probably should have packed this up better. Why are you focusing on my hat? Let's see if I remember how to do this. So I bought some stuff, which is not exactly atypical, but I have been on annual leave, which has given me some extra time to shop. And it's also January, so we've had the post Christmas sales, the Boxing Day sales, the end of year sales, the stock take sales, the sign up to our mailing list and we'll give you a discount code because we want you to buy stuff kind of sales. And I've taken advantage of that. The shopping has definitely ramped up a little bit and I thought I would share with you guys what I've picked up. And since you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you would like to see. So not in any particular order, I'll just grab the first thing that I have here. I bought a bag, shock horror. This is from Monpurse, which is an Australian company. They had a 20% off Boxing Day like discount code, I believe. I think this is usually $2.99, but I'll list all the products and exact prices in the description box below for you guys, as long as <laughs> including links to help you guys do some of your shopping of your own. But this, I believe, is called the camera bag. I've really liked this style for a while. It comes in a few different colors, but I fell in love with the red. I've really been into red accessories and wanting red accessories, and it's just the perfect color. I don't actually own anything that's like a patent leather kind of finish, so beautiful bag. It's a nice size, not too big, not too small, quite structured, and I just got it monogrammed with an R and a dot. I thought that was sort of simple and looked really cute. Feels a little bit like my own adult lunchbox in a way, but absolutely beautiful. And I was very excited to get a discount on that. I did buy it on Afterpay. So technically I'm still paying it off, but that's okay. I can show you guys now. The next items I have here are actually just some packaging because I went to a Dares, they had some sales and I bought myself some new pillows for the year. I'm not gonna show you the pillows, but this is the comfort pillow in the low and soft, which is perfect for stomach and back sleepers, which is the one I ended up liking. I also picked up this one, which was the low and firm, perfect for back and side sleepers, which I didn't like as much. It was a little bit too firm. So you can't buy pillows and then take them back, which I understand, but it also makes it really hard because how do you know if you're gonna like a pillow until you actually buy and try the pillow? It's one of those things where you basically just have to like gamble and hope that you like the pillow that you buy. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. The other item that I bought from Adairs was this faux plant because if any of you guys watched some of my Christmas vlogs, uh, you would have seen that I'm not very good with the whole keeping plants alive as much as I'd rather have real ones. So Adairs had some sales on their faux plants and I picked this one up, which is, I've actually still got the tag on it, that's really bad. It's from Home Republic, the Kyoto collection um, and this is the 75 centimeter green hanging pearls. It's usually $34.99 but I think it was about 30% off when I bought it and the actual uh, pot here is from Kmart. I don't think it was on sale but I did pick that up as well if you guys were interested. This lives on my bookcase. Shall we talk about some clothes for the moment? I picked up a couple of pairs of shorts from factory. In summer, I pretty much live in denim shorts when I'm not at work. And I needed a few new pairs because a lot of mine are a little bit too big. I've lost a little bit of weight, which I suppose is not a bad problem to have, but I needed some new shorts. So I grabbed these ones, which are kind of high-waisted, dark denim ripped. I liked the little seam that they had on the front here and this sort of uh, mismatched edge at the bottom there. These ones are, were originally $39.95 then they were ticketed at $19.95 and then they ended up being $15. So I'd call that a bargain and I thought these were really cute. I got these in a size 10. And then the other ones that I got also from Factory, again, oh, they're a little bit open, my bad. I'm not very prepared for this. $39.95, ticketed at $19.95, $15 a bargain, just some distressed a uh, light wash jeans, jean shorts, sorry. <laughs> this is a little bit more for uh, when the weather starts to cool down, which is certainly not happening just yet. But I picked this up from Urban Outfitters. This was actually a pre-Christmas kind of discount that they had where they had uh, buy one, get one 50% off, I believe. Uh, this is from the brand or the range out from under by Urban Outfitters or for Urban Outfitters. And it's this really cute kind of lightweight sweater, button-up sweater. It has this little tie-up thing. 
I got this in the rust shade, which is this color as well as a beige. The beige hasn't arrived yet because I purchased them and then they both went on back order, which was fine with me because um, it's really too hot to wear these just yet, but I fell in love. I love this material. It's kind of like up close. It almost looks a bit like a waffle weave, but it's so, so soft and perfect for the sort of Sydney cooler weather because it honestly doesn't get that cold here, much to my dismay. So. This is a good one for autumn and come winter, it's something that you can actually layer because as much as I would love to layer like chunky knits in winter, you just can't here because if I was to put a chunky knit with a jacket on top, by lunchtime, I would be sweltering. So really, really nice, super soft from Urban Outfitters. Um, definitely check them out. I love this color, love this color. Sports Girl had a little bit of a sale and I tried on a couple of things and ended up walking out with only one of them which is this hat. And this is another sort of episode of Rachel buys hats because she really likes the look of them but never ends up wearing them because she feels self-conscious when she does. Um, I have been loving this style. I don't really know what it's called. Is it a Brixton hat, like a Baker Boy hat? I'm sure you've probably seen these all over the internet. This one was originally, I'm not sure, but it was reduced to $14.95. And then when I went up to buy it, it was $7.50, I think. So I think it was half price again. Do you want me to put it on? I will model it for you guys. I have to be careful because sometimes these make my ears stick out. What do you think? Do you think I can pull it off? Maybe come like autumn. I don't know if this is really a summer thing, but I thought I've wanted to try one of these for ages. I'm actually pretty sure it was $19.95 originally. So down to $7.50 my best chance of trying it and maybe some of you can remind me when it get, the weather gets a bit cooler. Rachel, wear your hat. I don't know. I think they're cute. I'm going to attempt to try and wear it at some point. I do have a pair of shoes to show you but I wanted to show the swimmers first because I'm super excited about these. If you follow me on Instagram I've already talked about these so you guys know what's up. Well done. Uh, these are from an Australian brand called Marvel Lane which I'd seen a little bit online and the first time I saw this on Instagram, it might have been a sponsored post or I, I don't know how I stumbled upon it, but I fell in love with this color. Like, look at it. It is stunning. And the great thing about Marvel Lane is that they cater to people that have bigger busts and the swimmers are all like underwired with cup sizes. So if you've got a smaller back and a bigger bust, you can actually get a size that fits. Because for me, when buying bikinis, Sometimes I'll need the cup size that they're offering in say the 14 or the 16, but I need the back of the 10 and then the bottoms of the 12 or something like that. Like it's basically impossible to buy a bikini and have it fit me everywhere properly. So these I could get the, I got the size 10, they're actually tie up. So you get have a little bit of leeway, but some of the, the styles that they have do have clips so you can get the right size back. Then you can get the cup size. So I got the size 10 E which fits me perfectly. And then I actually ended up getting the bottoms in the size 10 as well. Uh, these, I probably could have gotten away with a 12 as well, particularly if I was sort of any bigger in the hips, but the 10 do fit nicely. They come up a little bit at the back, but not so much that you don't feel like you're covered, just enough to sort of give you your, your booty a little bit of shape. Really nice, sorry, I'm not showing them very well. I'll try and insert a picture because it's kind of hard for you guys to to see them, but I love the ruffle detail. I love the way they fit. They are a really pricey swimmer. I think the top is $129.95 full price and the bottoms might be like $69.95. So if you buy both full price, they're about $200, which is a lot of money uh, for swimmers. But for anybody who's ever struggled to buy a bikini before, you're probably thinking I would pay that and I'm definitely that kind of person. However, a little tip, I found them stocked, because you can buy them direct from Marvel Lane, but I found them stocked on a website called Nomads Cove, which I think is a store also in Byron Bay where this company is based. And they had a sign up to our uh, like mailing list and get 15% off, I think it was your first order. Plus it was free express shipping over $100. So I didn't pay full price for these, which I was very happy about. I did get a discount and I ordered them like the morning and then I received them the next day. Amazing. So really great quality swimmers. If you are like me and struggle, 
definitely check those out. And then the shoes I mentioned, Converse had a 20% off Boxing Day sale as well. You're gonna see a little bit of the theme with the color. I am nothing if not consistent when it comes to the colors that I gravitate towards. <laughs> I got myself a pair of a pair of Converse and I think these came down to about $63, $64, which was I think pretty pretty good for Converse. They're this kind of like, I don't know if they're actual leather or just leather look. The color is called De Deck, <laughs> Dark Sangria, which appeals to me greatly. I love the gold eyelet details on them. Let me get the exact name for you guys. Uh, they are the uh, Chuck All Stars or Converse All Stars Dainty Ox or OX Dark Sangria Gold Egret Egret Shade. I know that they also do the Dark Sangria in the the usual canvas style with the white as well if you prefer that. But I thought I'd get these. These were a little bit different. I have already worn them, but I think they'll definitely be a staple autumn winter shoe for me. And like, look at the color. Anybody who knows me knows that I just, I couldn't go past these, super cute. Okay, I think we're almost at the end of my little shopping bonanza. I did pick up a new phone cover uh, or phone case because I got the iPhone 10 when it came out. I was due for an upgrade and I was um, very excited to get a new phone. I actually really, really like the iPhone 10. I know people have mixed feelings, but for me, after a couple of days of using it, I love it, could never go back. So I finally got my hands on a loopy case. This is the signature edition marble with just like the white loop. They had a, it was a Black Friday sale that I actually picked this up in, but I only just got them, which is why I'm kind of including them in this, uh, where I think you got 15% off if you bought one, 20% off if you bought two, maybe 25% off if you bought three. I actually ended up buying two because the logic of that was that by buying two, I got 20% off as well as free shipping. Whereas if I had bought one, I would have only got 15% off and had to pay for shipping. So I'll probably either sell this to my sister or somebody at work um, if they want it. I just got the same two marble ones, but they also had a post Christmas, I think 15% off as well. And that might be still going. So if you are interested in a loopy case, I love them because I just, I like having something extra to hold, whether it be a pop socket or something like this. I just find it just at that little bit safer. And when you have a hella expensive phone, I think the last thing that you want to do is drop it. So really happy with the case. Uh, and I don't think they're taking as long to ship now that they've got for the iPhone 10. They were on pre-order. They might not be, or the shipping time might not be as long now, but very happy uh, with my case. And last little bit of shopping, this wasn't actually on sale, but it's a beauty item. And I feel like technically this channel is mainly beauty concentrated. So I need to include one thing. Uh, this is a tan. This is a facial tan water, which I've wanted to try for a while. This is the Eco, Eco by Sonia Driver face tan water. And it really is just like a water and you sort of rub it all over your face, either with your hands or with a like cotton round. And it gives you this sort of natural looking tan to your face, which I am loving because my skin, you can probably see I've got a bit of a tan. I always wear sunscreen, but I have olive skin, so it does tan quite easily in summer. And I always wear sunscreen on my face, extra sunscreen, so that tends to not tan as much and I like everything to match. So I have been really enjoying this and it, even having a bit of color on your face, I'm less inclined to wear makeup, which I think is really good for my skin as well to give it a bit of a break. So I picked this one up as well as their Eco Tan uh, Invisible Tan. This is a self tanning cream. It has only organic and natural ingredients. Uh, it's certified organic in Australia. And according to this, it won the Beauty Shortlist Awards 2017. So no hidden nasties gives you a golden tan. I have tried this once just on my chest to try and even it up. And it was really easy to apply. I applied it with my hands, washed my hands. As you can see, no orange hands. So I'm very happy with that. And it was a really, well, you can see there, it kind of just blends in with everything else. It's a really natural looking color. Definitely gonna play around with this a little bit more before I give like my final verdict. But so far I'm really enjoying those and you can get those off their website. But if you're looking for more instant gratification, like I am, uh, I found that they had a stockist list and these were available in my local like health food store. So if you would rather buy in store, just go to the stockist list and put in your postcode and you'll probably find that there'll be places that stock it near you. 
Oh, okay. Is that everything? I think so. Wow, that was a lot of talking and a lot of shopping, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up recently, what I picked up on sale. Like I said, I'll have links to everything in the description box below. So if you would like to check it out for yourself, definitely look online to see if they still have the sales going or maybe a discount code. I'm all about getting a bargain or getting a discount when you're doing your shopping. And other than that, I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.